Hello YouTube. I wanted to do a quick review here on this LTE outdoor floodlight. Um, I actually have two of these. Um, I got one of them for a review and I liked it so much that I got a second one here. It is kind of large and I will show you just how big it is. Let me get it out of here. Alright, there you go. This thing is pretty large, as you can see, my hand. Um, <laughs> and I have about average size hands here, probably, I don't know, uh, about eight, seven, eight inches from the wrist to the top of the finger. So there you go. Um, it's, I actually thought when I first got this that it was a quarter of this size. So, my surprise when I opened up this box and it was as large as the box. <laughs> that was very surprising. Comes with just the pigtail here. You have your hot, neutral, and ground. And on the back, bring that around here, is your big heat sink fins. And it comes with some other little mounting hardware. And then on the bottom, Right there is your fuse for this. Now as far as the brightness, this is super bright. Um, I actually turned it on once and blinded myself for about five minutes. And I couldn't see anything. That was stupidity on my part. But yeah, it is uh, weather resistant. I'm not going to say waterproof because... Um, there's hardly anything that's waterproof unless it's completely sealed super well. And this, uh, it's taken some of the Florida rain pretty dang good. Um, one thing I did have an issue with and I haven't had it since is on the inside it had a little bit of, uh, fogginess to it, but that went away really quick. Um, and... I just ended up tightening down the screws here, so that was not a big deal. Um, the link is in the description on where you can get one of these. They're priced really well, so there's no reason why you shouldn't get one if if you don't mind the size of this. So go ahead and take a look at the description. Um, another thing is this LED. Uh, there was another one that I actually had. The LED um, cell itself, after about a week, when you turned it off, it was it had a brownish tint. Well, that's a sign of a poor quality LED. And so far, this one, after about two weeks, not, not a bit of color change, really. So, I, I really think that this one is going to last a lot longer. And... Uh, it's well worth the money. So take a look at the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it does come with instructions as well. And something else that you could probably do, which I'm going to do with this one, is I'm going to hook it up to um, a power outlet uh, power cord. That way I can put it on a stand and use it as a mobile light itself. So take a look. Buy one, do what I'm going to do with it. It'll still be cheaper than going and buying one that puts out this much light anyway. This is Review Pro. Stay tuned for more.